All right, just doing a quick video on how I made my Emacs 6x6 differential. You can see it's got a input and an output shaft on it. Here's the original, and the trick to doing it is you get a drill bit that fits exactly in the bearings, and you drill through, and then what you do is you've got to get another differential, and you cut the bearing support out of it. You've got to use the four bolt ones you can't use the older two bolt ones and then you rotate the two halves so that they're opposite when you put it back together and then you just use these little uh, guides to hold everything together and then a little epoxy to put it in place and um, what's going to happen is on the one side you're going to have to eat out the casing a little bit and have some exposed gear there so you could either I tried building that up with epoxy and of course it jammed the gear all up so I'm just gonna run some tape over it just to keep the dust and the grit out of it and um, I'll hopefully I'll leave a comment on how this works out because I've been tearing differentials up once I went brushless and what's happening is the little screws in here are breaking that hold the gear on and um, I mean the car is really fast now, but it, it's just just breaking them up. So that's what killed this uh, differential that was in there. I'm gonna put the six by six in now, and hopefully in the next few days I got a video on the six wheel drive and operation. I'm gonna build a metal frame, comes out from here, joins the old bulkhead, um, and we'll, we'll hopefully I'll do another summary video on how to build this up. All right, talk to you later.